In this video, we're going to look at rotations. And another type of transformation is a rotation. And a rotation transforms a shape to a new position by turning it about a fixed point called the center of rotation. So the angle through which the shape rotates is called the angle of rotation, obviously enough. This is given either as an angle or a fraction of a complete turn. 270 degrees will be 390s or 3 quarters of 360. The direction is given as clockwise, negative, or anti-clockwise, which is considered positive. The fixed point about which the object is rotated is called the point or the center of rotation. These are just the notes that you put into your copies. Therefore, when describing the rotation of an object, we should include, if possible, the direction, either positive or negative, the angle of rotation, the center of rotation. So let's have a look at a couple of examples here. So in this image here, I'll just go over it real quick. We have the letter F. The object started here. So the image is what it becomes. So what happened? This guy, this point, just let me change color. This point down here has moved to here. And you can see the angle it has moved by is 60 degrees. As you see in this first example, every point has been rotated anti-clockwise. So one in this direction, and we said anti-clockwise was positive. Through an angle of 60 degrees, about a point A. So here's my point A. And here's my 60 degrees, just to see it a bit clearer. In the second one, we start with my object. My object is here. So this point that they highlight, it's going back in this direction. And that's an angle of 90, if you can see here. And again, about a fixed point A. And this could be donated as OR90. Now, the image in the object, we start with the object this time. Let's look at these two. It's coming down this way, so now we're going clockwise so we're going negative and again we're rotating 90 degrees and this is known as or minus 90 so rotations normally 90 degrees or 60 degrees or something simple enough okay let's look at these questions in each case identify the image of triangle a under the following rotations about the origin so we have triangle a here and it's moved to three different places. So what's happening? We have a positive 90, a negative 90, and a positive 180. Now, the way I was taught was, if we take this side here, and we imagine north, south, east, and west, north, south, east, and west, my line here in triangle A, this line along the bottom, is on the south. So, I'm just going to do a line of south. So in triangle P here, it gets to go to the east. So it's gone from south to east. So it's rotated in an anti-clockwise direction, which we saw was positive. So it's gone on a positive 90 degrees or a positive quarter turn. And that's the easiest way to identify these. So let's look at A to or. So A, the bottom line again, we're just looking at the bottom, it's south, and now we're north. So this time we've gone from south to north, which is from here all the way around to here. It could also be the opposite direction around, they're actually the same thing. So in this case, we've gone from south to north, so we've gone anti-clockwise, positive 180 degrees, or a half a turn. So that's A to or. Um, positive 180, that's this guy here. Do we say or? We said positive 90 was the first one, P. And that tallies with what they have here with this example here. A, they get to eventually get to P. Well, let's look at Q now. We now are west. And we were, I'll just go over the line again. My bottom of this, the small line is south. We've gone from south to west. We got to get there as quickly as possible. So we're going negative 90 degrees. 
which is a clockwise quarter turn. And is that how to describe it in this question? Like negative 90, Q is a quarter of a full rotation clockwise, or half a full rotation, which we did up here. And a positive 180 rotation about the origin can be also be described as a negative one, right? Negative 180, which we just mentioned there a minute ago. So, rotation shouldn't cause any problem for you. I would recommend the north, south, east, west. Pick a side of the triangle, make sure you know it's the right one, and see what direction it's facing in. One of them will be north, south, east, or west. You can see the diagonal here kind of facing over in this direction. We could still do it that way with north east and south west and stuff like that but pick one of the straight sides make it a little bit easier for yourselves 